transaction and isolation uh, module is going on and in this video we will talk about the concurrency problems isolation as we know is uh, one of the acid properties of sql transactions and um, this uh, the transaction specifies an isolation level that defines the degree to which one transaction must be isolated from resources and data modifications made by other transactions and uh, when more than one user is trying to access the same data at the same time in the database then data concurrency problems may occur for example this is the uh, uh, there are two salesmen uh, the, with the salesman id 1 and 2 the first salesman with salesman id trying to sell the item 01001 with 50 meter square he want to take the stock 50 meter square out of 100 meter square and uh, he requested this update product such stock is equal to stock minus 50 where item code is this one and salesman id is this one and at the same time another salesman with the salesman id also want to sell the 60 meter square from this 100 meter square for the same item so he will also request the 60 meter square like update product such stock is equal to stock minus 60 words item code to this and salesman id is equal to this so if there is the the no concurrency control now this salesman who can sell the 50 meter square then the remaining will be the 50 and this salesman will sell the 60 meter square and then the stock will go into the minus which is a problem and uh, so th these are the concurrency problem example when more than one transaction accessing the same data at the same time so there are four kinds of concurrency problems may occur which is a dirty read lost update non-repeatable read and phantom read what is a dirty read when a transaction select data that is not committed by the transaction it is known as dirty read like uh, this is a table having uh, three fields salesman code invoice number and the gross value of this invoice which salesman sold so sales and this users uh, started the transaction and he want to update the value of this uh, for this invoice which he sold he, he requested this one update this table invoice table set gross value is equal to 7300 where invoice number is this one and this transaction still going on it's not uh, committed or rolled back and at the same time and other user requested the select statement to check the gross value of the for this invoice and he requested select gross value from i know header from this table where invoice number is this one so it, and this transaction uh, still is going on and it's, it's up it's just updated the value and when he, the other user requested and he got this updated value but this transaction still not completed and this the first uh, users rolled back this transaction he did not commit it but the, now this the, the user of the other window uh, which he re got the value is now is wrong because this value is not committed so this is the dirty read which is which read uh, the value when, when the first transaction is going on so this is the dirty read example and uh, also there is a lost update concurrency problems last update concurrency problem this problem occurs when two transactions trying to read and update the same data two transactions uh, requested the same data to read and then they are going to update the same data at the same time and first transaction updated and then the second transaction when it updated it will override the uh, modifications of the first for example if you will uh, go here in this example uh, this is the same uh, table product table and this product table have the product code and the unit of the product and this is the product name and this product this item have the stock 100 now the first salesman started the transaction he uh, when he requests the stock for this item it is 100 meter square and he what he did he he, st uh, he took this stock and then the, the, he's just waiting this transaction is still going on and it's still not completed but at the same time another user also requested the same stock for the same item the stock of the item and it's still 100 and uh, what he did he minus the stock 90 because he want 90 meters square 
90 meter square from this item and he updated this stock when he updated this stock now the balance will be 10 meter square and this balance will be 10 meter square like this but the this the first transaction which is still going on what this user did this user also updated this well stock because when he when he requested at that time also 100 meter and he's uh, he now he will also update the stock so when he updated the stock at that time it is 90 so this 90 will be overrated now it's coming 90 and th this user when update this user updated a stock at 10 and this user now updated it's 90 it will change the modification what this second user did so this is the lost update problem is coming during the concurrency problems and non repeatable read is also coming during the concurrency problem this what is this non repeatable read this concurrency problem occurred when one transaction select the same data twice and between these two select statements another transaction update the same data due to which results of both select statements in the first transaction is different for example to understand this uh, concurrency problem we will uh, go here and this is the first window a first user uh, start the transaction and he requested the value for from the sales table he select gross value from uh, i new header table where invoice number is this one then the table the value returned for this against this uh, statement is this one salesman code is four invoice number is this and the gross value is this one and then he then the transaction is still going on and uh, it's delay and meanwhile the uh, another uh, user updated the this table update the invoice header set gross value is 730 where invoice number is this one the other users in the me meanwhile when this first transaction is going on updated this value and this transaction is going on and he, this salesman has requested two times this select and the first time it's returned in this one and then this during this transaction another user updated the value and then when this second select will be executed and it will return the this value so these both values the statement is same and the parameters are same but the result is different this is known as repeatable read concurrency problem non-repeatable read concurrency problem and the fourth uh, concurrency problem is the phantom read which is occurring in the concurrency and what is the phantom read phantom read this concurrency problem occurred when transactions select the same data twice so same two select statements uh, user has generated and between those these two select statements another user inserted the uh, same data that matches the where class of the query executed by the first transaction and due to this result the both select statement have the different result which is known as the phantom read mean two select between two select statement another stu uh, user have inserted the value let to understand this one we will go to the example for example this is the first user who generated the transaction and in this transaction the user requested the select query that select gross value from i header table where salesman code is equal to 4 and this is the value returned for this user gross value is 1300 and this is the invoice and this is the salesman code and this transaction still not completed and it's going on and meanwhile another user uh, inserted the value in this table for the same salesman salesman uh, id is 4 and then another invoice number 399 with the value of 1500 is inserted so this the first state, uh, transaction which is going on uh, and there are two select statement in this first transaction select gross value and where salesman when this second select statement will be executed it will return now the different result because between these two select statement and other user inserted the value so the select statement is same parameters are same but the results are different so this is known as a phantom read these are the concurrency problems which are coming uh, during the transactions so now in the next video we will see how to overcome 
how to control these concurrency problems which isolation isolation level we have to choose to overcome these concurrency problems